Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this is a tutorial on using your smart notebook software and your smart board with your new MacBook. So this tutorial does assume that you have paired your MacBook with your smart board and that you have installed smart notebook. If you have not, you need to go watch one of the previous two tutorials. Once you've done that, um, if you go ahead and you open up your launch pad, you should see board tools, notebook, smart ink, and smart settings and basically you just open them so if you click on smart notebook it'll bounce around down here in in the uh, in the dock and it asks you for a license and we will have to get that to you um, probably via email um, and then it's just gonna go ahead and open up your notebook if for some reason your project your projector is not showing this then you need to go ahead and make sure that you're in mirrored um, mode, uh, it's possible that you'll actually just um, not see your smart notebook settings at all, but that's more of a display issue um, and that can be taken care of by going to system preferences and then clicking on display and I can help you with that over the phone. Um, my extension is 3185. But just for smart notebook, this should open up automatically. Um, and your toolbars do look a little different, they're a little bit more compressed, but it's the same basic functionality. Uh, when you click on the font tool, it opens up the font menu that you're used to having. When you click on the line tool, it does the same thing. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you actually have um, your board tools open. So that's a different icon. And then if you would like to use the smart ink layer, you're going to go ahead and open up the smart ink layer. And the smart ink layer is actually pretty cool because if you... Um, right on your desktop with the smart ink layer. It goes ahead and it um, creates a little note and it's just the size of whatever it is that you wrote rather than being the whole size. The other thing that's pretty cool is if you actually write on a layer and then you write on, let me write on a web page too and make this smaller. Um, and then you move that web page around, the smart ink layer actually follows it, which is very different. That's, that's a feature that's new to 11, um, and I know that a lot of us haven't been running 11. And you just X out of that the same way. So when you, when you close out, it goes ahead and it closes the smart um, ink layer. So that's it. If you have any um, difficulties with that, you can of course email me, DelosierR um, at LISD.net, and I'll be happy to help.